Point four, dividing integers. We're going to do an example for dividing integers, but first we need to look at our sign rules for division. There we go. So, uh, the quotient of two integers with the same sign is positive. So, like multiplication, if the signs are the same, we have a positive outcome. And if the quotient of two integers with different signs, uh, it means that your answer is negative. So, if the signs are the same, positive answer. If the signs are different, negative answer. Same concept. So, let's have a look. First example is calculate positive 6 divided by positive 2. We're going to divide the numbers first. That's step one. Just take the numbers, ignore the signs, do the division. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. That's step one. Step two, apply the sign rule. The quotient of the two integers with the same sign is positive. This is positive, positive. So go back up to your rules. Positive and positive gives you a positive answer. So that means our answer here is going to be positive. So it's not just 3, it's positive 3. So positive 6 divided by positive 2 is positive 3. That's no surprise. You've known for a long time now that 6 divided by 2 is 3. So that's good. On a number line, let's take a look at that. We start with 6 and we're dividing it into groups of, uh, with 2 in each group. So 1, 2, tick. 1, 2, tick. 1, 2, and there's the end of your arrow. So there's 1, 2, 3 sections. So that's one way you can do it with a number line. Example B, same sort of situation. We've got a negative 12 divided by negative 6. Step 1, divide the numbers. 12 divided by 6 is 2. That's step 1. Step 2 is apply the sign rule. The quotient of the two integers with the same sign is, it's going to be positive. So again, both numbers are negative. You can go up here. Both numbers negative gives you a positive answer. So negative 12 divided by negative 6 is 2, but not just a regular old 2. It's a positive 2. And again, we can take negative 12 on our number line, do six negatives in each group. That's one batch of six. That's another batch of six. And that creates, if you put a tick there, two sections for your arrow. So your answer is two. Third example, calculate negative 20 divided by positive four. Again, step one, divide the numbers. 20 divided by four, we know is five. Now we need to figure out what kind of five it is. So again, step two, apply the sign rule. The quotient of two integers with different signs is negative. So we've got a negative divided by a positive. Go on up, check your rules. Negative divided by positive gives you a negative answer. So it's a five, but in this case, it's a negative five. Again, we can look at a number line if you wish. Start with negative 20, start at zero, go to negative 20. Uh, you want to break it into four groups this time. So four equal groups divided into quarters. Each one is a length of negative five. So your answer is negative five. One last example here. And this time we'll use our calculator, maybe. 40, positive 42 divided by negative 14. Yeah, 14. Divide the numbers first. So 42 divided by 14 is 3. That's step 1. Step 2, apply the sign rule. The quotient of two integers with different signs, one's positive, one's negative, they're different, so that means we know that it's going to be negative. So, 42 divided by negative 14, it's a 3, but it's not positive 3, it's negative 3. Now, you can use your calculator to double check this. You can use multiplication to check your division. So you can check it using the opposite operation. We were doing division, we can check it with multiplication. Take your answer, which in this case was minus 3, 
Multiply it by your divisor. Your divisor is the second number in your division question. So multiplying it by negative 14. When you do that, punch it in your calculator, 3 negative times 14 negative equals, you'll end up with a positive 42, which is the first number in your division question. So you know you've got it right. So you're good to go. All right. So next up is a show you know. Give it a go.